This is Mike from New Bedford Guide. I'm going to walk you through the uh, basics of the project map. So what this project is, is going to be a city intelligence type map for uh, the New Bedford area, which is going to grow, you know, to Boston and other areas. But what we have right now is a tab for photos, jobs, um, soon to be home rentals, home sales, pets, deals, news, and police. Okay. So starting with the photo tab, Real quick, the way the map works is it's going to start you off and center you with uh, downtown New Bedford, some photos that we have loaded uh, into the database. Okay, and you can see we're on 2013 as far as photos. And what a user can do is, you know, select the year if he wants to check 2012, see what photos are available. We only got a few in there right now. Okay. So what this allows us to do also is, uh, you know, use some Google data. So every little icon will, will have data if Google has it. Um, you'll see some of the icons there. You can click, and then you'll see the camera icon for what we have into the database. Um, and you can actually turn the photo icons to thumbnails if you'd like. Okay, so really that's the basics of that. We'll actually have to add some photos later to the database. Um, but what Google allows us to do is, uh, you know, check the weather in the area. Um, you can check to see, uh, you know, bike pass. You can see, obviously, for Haven, Dartmouth have bike pass. Um, you can turn that on. You can check the traffic, you know. It gives you the best ways to drive around, transit, location. Um, and Panoramio is basically photos that people have loaded into Google Maps, so you can kind of see that. We're going to go much more larger scale than what Panoramio has. Okay, so I'll turn all that off. Um, again, you can just like Google, you can double click, go into areas. You can use this area here to go in and out. Okay, so that's the basics of the Google map. You can play around um, with that. Now, what I'll jump into is the jobs area. So what we have here is it's going to pull jobs from indeed.com, which is kind of a aggregator of multiple sources. So it pulls in data and you can see by the numbers here how many jobs are in New Bedford. So we're going to start, it defaults to New Bedford. So if you see there's four jobs up in the north end, you can click. Now this data is not 100% accurate. It's not going to go to the building exactly sometimes with the job. It gives you the general area. So you can see kind of what jobs are available. And if you want, you click and go to the full details, and that will take you to the, the job description, Okay, which is on deed.com. Okay, so you can close all that out. Now, what's cool is you can you can see up here it's defaulted to New Bedford. You can pick any city you want. Okay, or you can do all cities and hit find, and it's gonna show you all the the, the jobs that are out there within 50 miles of uh, of New Bedford. Okay, so you can see it's our database is pulling all the jobs up, and again you can kind of see Freetown, Wareham, how many jobs are available. Now, a lot of times you're not just looking for any job, so you can go up here and type in the keyword. So if you're looking for a babysitter job, you know, all around the 50 miles of New Bedford, click find. It's going to show you all the babysitting jobs, okay? So you can see there's a few up in Brockton. Okay, and then if you, you know, just use the search to find things. Don't worry about this get job, update jobs data. Um, now, what's cool about this is people hiring can basically add a job. Right now, soon you're going to have a simple form that you'll just be able to hit add job and type in the data. But if you just find your business, um, you know, say you're in Fairhaven and you're hiring, you're the pasta house and you're going to hire, you right click on the pasta house. Okay, and what, what that's going to do is pull up a job icon. Okay, so you see that, you click, it's kind of kind of give you the details uh, on Bridge Street. It doesn't have to be exact, people will know it's, it's Pasta House. You just type your company name here, what job you're hiring for, in a description. If you want, you can throw your URL for your company, hit Save Job, and it's in the database. Okay, so if you don't add a job, just don't worry about it, and uh, it'll go away. Okay, so that's basically the job tool and how to play around with the map on New Bedford Guide, which will be launched probably next week.